After our video a couple days ago revisiting the second battle we had with Harvard, we received a great many requests to go over the first one. It's understandable. This was not a battle over the details of Nova Astronomy like what you saw a few days ago, but it was over the significance of geomagnetic changes, magnetic pole shifts on Earth. The video we made about this was in 2019, and it frankly was actually much more satisfying of a victory, even though it has largely been an unacknowledged one. It technically was a battle with not only a Harvard professor, but with the Astronomical Society, and at the time, it was a bit of a shock to the few dozen professors who were engaging with me. Here is the paper by Dr. Lingam of Harvard. It followed several papers suggesting that the geomagnetic changes like the ones Earth is seeing right now caused major problems for the life on Earth. He decided to rebut them. I had been writing a paper on the topic, bringing together the various arguments, so I quickly remade it as a rebuttal to his paper, which of course suggested that these geomagnetic changes, these magnetic pole shifts, were absolutely nothing to be afraid of and had very little consequences for our planet. I have provided a link to the drafts of those papers in the description box below the video so you can read them. They go over the major issues associated with these geomagnetic pole shifts, the ozone loss, the radiation bombardment, the climate chaos that ensues, the navigational issues for birds and other animals with the magnetic field changing, and the cardiac and brain impact of this extra radiation, which we have gone over on this channel several times. It's an obvious recipe for disaster. The journals gave me such a runaround trying to rebut Dr. Lingam, with them eventually saying they would not be publishing anything I had to say. It was something I had almost expected, but then something happened that I did not expect. The best geophysicist in this field, only a month later, publishing in the number one geophysics journal on Earth, addressed the topic directly and definitively showed that these geomagnetic changes on Earth cause extinctions through radiation dosage increase, ozone loss, and other effects stemming from them. It stands as the key study on this topic even now, four years later, and many of you will probably remember Dr. Channel's interview with us here about a year later. But it wasn't the only paper to come out after the battle we had with Dr. Lingam and the Astronomical Society. Perhaps the most discussed paper of 2021 was this, which dove deeper into how the environment is impacted by these geomagnetic changes, especially the climate, and how extinctions were virtually guaranteed to be part of the process. Of course, we shared this a couple weeks ago, the preprint abstract for a major presentation at the upcoming AGU fall meeting. They plan to discuss how even millions of years ago, there is evidence that these magnetic pole shifts were devastating, including sea level variations, volcanoes, and again, the extinction of species. Since our video reply in the wake of the journal's refusal to publish our rebuttal, every paper has said the same thing, that these are very dangerous events. We showed only three of the dozen or so papers on the topic that have come out since then, and interestingly, these studies tend to hit one or more of these key features of the magnetic shift, but never all of them together, yet they're still able to show the deadly nature of these events nonetheless. Again, below the video I have linked both my original long paper rebuttal to Dr. Lingam and a shorter one that the journals requested but still refused to publish. At the time of our video, most people were either undecided or just quickly decided to go with the Harvard man. It's understandable that's not the case anymore. This is of the utmost importance now as Earth's magnetic field is shifting quickly and accelerating, driving extreme auroral displays, contributing to the ongoing climate change, even if the IPCC won't admit it, and eventually will inflict the same disastrous outcomes as the past events. This is why we do what we do, so corrupt and cowardly scientists don't control the narrative. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.